This week on In the Field, a mix of classic and modern architecture in Seville, Spain. Hi everybody, my name is Scott Davenport and welcome to In the Field and on today's episode through the magic of the internet we're going to zip over to Seville, Spain. I spent uh, about a week in Seville over the summer and uh, yeah, the fantastic city, great subjects to shoot, nice people, uh, a little bit hot in the summer but, uh, but you know, the nights are really, really nice. And uh, there's, um, there's a particular uh, interesting piece of architecture there called the Metropole Parasol. Uh, if you've ever looked at going to Seville and you've looked at photos, you've probably seen it. It's this very modern, curving, you know, sweeping, very open uh, type of uh, piece of architecture. And it's got walkways and things to go through it. And uh, it's, um, you, you kind of just need to see it because it's very interesting to see it in the context of the rest of the city, which is a much more classic you know, European uh, architecturally designed place. And so, well, let's take a look at this on the maps and I'll show you a little bit of footage I took at the parasol itself. So here is Seville and this uh, Right about down here is your historic center. So the uh, you know this royal gardens here. You got the cathedral down at the base, and uh, you know the the city itself sprawling out. And right here is this uh, metropole parasol. Now when I switch to the satellite view, you're going to be able to see you know very quickly. You've got you know your your classic architecture here, classic squares, all sorts of you know uh, buildings you would expect to see in a town like Seville, you know, even the bull ring down over here. And then this interesting structure here, you know, very different from anything else in the city. And sure enough, when you start to look at this thing, it is just really, really, you know, cool. It's, you know, it's ultra modern, nestled right in the middle of, you know, classic European and Spanish architecture. And so uh, these snaking walkways move all around this thing. There's different levels. There's sublevels underneath where you can be in between, you know, uh, layers of this particular uh, piece of architecture. And so I went up here one night and was shooting you know, along one of these walkways, and kind of doing something like you know the curves of this in the foreground. And you've got one of the cathedrals here, and then of course, you know, the, the really large Seville Cathedral in the background. Uh, let's just go over to the footage and I'll show you uh, exactly what we're talking about. I'm standing beneath the Metropole Parasol in Seville. This is a very cool looking structure. It's just all sorts of sweeping curves, nice lines and patterns. It's getting close to dark. You can see the, uh, the colors at the bases of these pillars, columns are starting to light up. This should look pretty nice. There's an upper viewing platform as well. I'm going to see if they'll let me bring my tripod up there and uh, be able to get some nice views of the city skyline and the cathedral way off the distance. There are no issues with the tripod. I was able to get up here without a problem. And so now I'm just waiting about 20 minutes or so. The sky should be nice and blue. It's a bit of a haze tonight, so uh, we'll see. Hopefully that's not going to interfere with the color too much. Composition I've settled on is roughly what you see here. So using a lot of these sweeping lines of the structure, I'm I'm hoping that it's going to be lit up in such a way that, uh, for example, this area and the right-hand side of the frame will have a different tone and shading than what's in the lower left of the frame. And then this walkway providing another line. You kind of you're zigzagging across back and forth, and then using the towers of these two cathedrals as kind of anchor points on either third of the frame. And so, um, yeah, it's just the waiting game now. And after that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to duck underneath again and take some shots of the structure itself. So the composition that I was going for here is kind of, you know, old meets new, classic and modern together. And uh, it, it almost felt standing up on the, the walkways of the parasol that, you know, its curves were reaching out to the older parts of the city, almost like a, a nod to architects from the past, you know, saying, you know, you've, you've done a great job with the city and, you know, well, here's our addition to it as well. Now, a challenge on this shoot was vibration. So uh, this structure is very open, and so it does sway and move a little bit with uh, the wind as well. 
and visitors, you know, people like me walking around, uh, will vibrate the walkway. So you have your tripod there, but it's going to shake because people are walking up and down the steps and you know, they're visiting and enjoying it just as much as you are. Uh, so a couple of things I did to combat that. One was increasing the ISO. and I ended up shooting, I think, around 1600 to uh, get my final shots. So that would keep my shutter speed down, but I could maintain a... Uh, small aperture, you know, f16, you know, f11, f13, something where I get the depth of field that I want, uh, but by increasing the ISO, I can keep the shutter speed to, you know, a second or two. The other thing I did was put my palm, like the full amount of your palm, on uh, the metal railing that's going around. And you can not only watch for people using your eyes to figure out, am I going to have vibrations, and then feeling it as well. And so once things quelled down, I uh, used you know, the cable release remote, click the shutter, and I could get you know a, a four to five second window where there wasn't any shaking and vibration to make sure I got a good sharp shot. That's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, you can let me know. Comments are great. Uh, likes, plus ones, forward it to your circles and your social friends. Uh, that's all appreciated. Uh, every one of those little things gives me the encouragement to come back next week with more videos. So uh, I, I really like those and I even like your questions more. Uh, getting questions about uh, something I've said, something I didn't say, uh, things you want to hear more about. Those are all fantastic things. Um, it, it let me know this is more of a two-way conversation than me in a room with increasingly warm lights <laughs> just talking to myself. So if you'd like to reach out to me, you can contact me through my website. Hope I can hear from you. And until then, happy shooting. Thank you.